The fossilised skull of a pliosaur, the largest marine reptile that ever lived, has been discovered along the Jurassic Coast World Heritage Site. Found on the shores of Weymouth Bay, experts believe the head, which measures more than two metres long, contains the largest jaws ever found in Britain, and possibly the world. The monster find is believed to be around 155 million years old. It has been secured with funding from the Heritage Lottery Fund, plus Dorset and Devon County Councils, and will be prepared for permanent display at the Dorset County Museum in Dorchester. The giant fossil was formally unveiled today and generated huge media interest from newspapers, radio stations and TV news crews from around the world. Well, here we have the famous Weymouth Bay Pliosaur. It's a skull of a marine reptile, just over 2.1 metres long. And there's a bit of a debate whether it might be one of the largest pliosaur skulls ever found in the world. It's certainly one of the best preserved ones ever found. It's around 155 million years old. And you have to imagine it would have been up to about 15 metres long. This enormous skull would have been the end of a very strong, thick neck. And the body would have had four enormous paddles like wings that could have been several feet long in themselves. And it would have uh, stalked the depths of the water, looking up through the water to see if anything was swimming past that could be prey, could be dinner. And then it would have a burst of speed and come slamming up into them from underneath, using its enormously powerful jaws to practically bite anything in half and then swallow it whole. If you look at the jaws over on the other table, you can see that the, the, the gap between the backs of the jaws, the hinges, is about a metre long, so they could have easily swallowed a person whole without any trouble at all. Well, it's a fantastic find. Pliosaur skulls of this quality and size are rare around the world, so we're hoping and expecting that this specimen, once it's cleaned and studied, will actually uh, give us new insights into these top predators from the Jurassic Sea. There's a, an amazing story about how this was found. It's, it's almost unbelievable that one person collected nearly all of this specimen over a five-year period from an eroding piece of coastline. But that's what's happened. Uh, one collector, if it wasn't for his efforts, we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't have this amazing specimen. It would have been washed away, broken up, or perhaps collected by a number of different people and dispersed. And that really is our view on the coastline. It's We need people to collect. If, if it's not for the efforts of collectors, the specimens would be lost to the sea. Now, it's been acquired by Dorset County Council uh, through the Heritage Lottery funding of Collecting Cultures bid, and it's going to end up in Dorset County Museum. And later on today, we're going to be discussing with the experts how it's going to be prepared and how it should be displayed best. Now, we are missing some bits underneath the skull and, of course, the very front of the jaws there, which probably fell out of the cliff uh, quite a long time ago. But there is also another section on the right-hand jaw that's missing. However, we do have a photograph of it. It turned up in the Dorset County Museum about five years ago, I believe, and it was identified as pliosaur, had a nice big tooth on it, and then it was given away to the uh, person who'd collected it because it wasn't really of interest to keep back then. Um, so it's out there somewhere. We know it must fit in there absolutely perfectly because the tooth that was on this missing part had the end missing and the back missing. And on the jaw, you find the very end of a pliosaur tooth and the very back of a pliosaur tooth. So we know it's going to fit in there just, just right. This project uh, is called Jurassic Life uh, and it's part of an HLF funding stream called Collecting Cultures. And essentially what we're doing is putting fossils uh, in museums all along the Jurassic Coast, both big and small museums, all the way from Sidmouth right along to Swanage. We're buying fossils uh, in, in Dorset for, uh, for Lyme uh, and of course for the County Museum and they're animals that lived uh, in the Jurassic Seas. So the, the monster behind us uh, is, a, is a marine reptile. Well, this is, I think, probably one of the most exciting finds to emerge from Dorset for many, many years. And from the Harris Lottery Fund, we're absolutely delighted to have funded, or helped to fund, this acquisition for the County Council and, and doubly delighted that it will be on display in Dorset when it's been fully restored. Dorset County Council's role in this project has been, well, the key role really. Uh, I've been allowed to work both in, in Dorset and in, and in uh, Devon with partner museums and, and essentially it is a wide partnership of museums. Well this really is a, a once in a lifetime find and uh, most of these bones were actually found on the beach. Um, the bones come from the cliffs but up in the cliffs they're either buried or completely inaccessible. And besides which, cliffs are dangerous. Uh, the last place to go fossil collecting is up on the cliffs. The sea does all the hard work. It washes away the soft mud and leaves the fossils scattered on the beach. And for anyone who wants to collect fossils, it is really important. The best place to find them is the beach. It's also the safest place. You should always stay away from the cliffs.